But when the Great Depression came to them, I remember my, my grandfather, like he was doing really well. He was in western Kansas. He had good land. He was making money. He was newly married. He was married to the judge's daughter. You know, he has a, my mother and her sister. And, a little, and then 1929, the stock market crashes. And then, you know, uh, the dust bowl, no rain year after year after year and the wind is blowing on the on the panes of the house the windows of the house all day the attic is filled with dust my grandfather never took the attic out the dust out of his attic as he said i want you to go up and see that this is the way it was in the great depression you know and they had nothing to eat they had nothing you know they had government issued um, nickels made of cardboard that they could go to town to buy peanut butter. They lived off of peanut butter. My mother wouldn't eat peanut butter. She said, we had to live off of this for seven years. Nothing to eat. Cold, dry. The rains don't come. You know, and um, you know, that's the way they lived. But they could do it. You know, they helped each other. They worked with each other. They shared their clothes. They handed down... And my, my grandfather always said, the rain will come again. He said, it will come again. We will farm again. The land, and, and he stayed there. Everybody left. They'd go to California. They would go to uh, Chicago. But there are no jobs in Chicago. There's nothing to do. So he said, I will stay here. And he said, the rain will come back. When the rain came back, mashallah, he begins to farm. He buys all the land around him. All the land, everything you could see. Western Kansas is flatter than a pancake, scientifically proven. He bought all of it, you know, and, but he always remained thankful. He, and he said, I'll never take the dust out of my attic, because I want you to remember what we saw. But these were people who were strong. What if that should happen again? And it could happen again. You know, these kind of disasters are always possible. It's God's mercy that puts them off. But today, what, how will people respond to these things? You know, we, we are people who I don't believe have the strength that they had before. And may Allah make us strong. May He give us this humanity. <clears throat> may He enable us, you know, to, to teach each other and to learn from each other.